So this is another experiment with the artificial horizon because I have had several requests to demonstrate a power up of the instrument with the case at an angle different to level. So I'll just show you that it is currently level. There is a bubble level attached to the instrument and another one on the table to show you that the table is level. And what I'm going to do now is just put the edge of the instrument on this small speaker and just orient it so that it is level in roll. You can see that and you can see that it now is tilted downwards at a significant angle. Now remember that the case of the instrument essentially matches the attitude of the aircraft. So as we see the instrument case now, that would be in an aircraft attitude like that, diving. So when we power up the instrument, once it is erected and is indicating correctly, the instrument should display a dive attitude. So that's what we're going to be looking for. Now, once it has powered up and it is running to speed, what I will then do is just remove the instrument from the tilt, put it down to level, and you will see the instrument showing correctly a straight and level attitude. Now, it's important to understand that the correcting mechanism inside the instrument does not care about the orientation of the external case. It is simply sensing the direction in which objects will fall straight down as you can see I don't think anybody's going to disagree with that and it is leveling according to that direction and level is defined as perpendicular or 90 degrees to the direction which objects fall so the external attitude of the case of the instrument is irrelevant let's power it up now I've got a stopwatch running over here You can see in real time that the instrument will erect just fine even with the case tilted. So let's start that timer. Now it's going to take several minutes. I'll just come back once uh, it has erected and we'll continue the rest of the demonstration. So now you can see the instrument has erected correctly and it is showing a nose down attitude which is the correct indication for the position of the instrument as it stands. So now we'll take it off the speaker, put it down to level and you can see it's showing the straight and level indication. So whatever the aircraft does, the instrument is going to show the pitch and roll attitude correctly of the aircraft. So the initial orientation of the artificial horizon case is completely irrelevant because the internal mechanism is constantly self-correcting with respect to the direction of down and that's the direction objects fall and it determines that level is perpendicular to the direction that objects fall and that is why when this instrument flies around the earth which changes the direction of down by one degree for every 111 kilometers, 
and that takes eight minutes traveling at 450 knots. This instrument is constantly correcting for the new direction of down and that is why as the pilots fly across the curve of the earth the instrument is always showing a level indication. It's a complete fallacy to believe that the gyroscope inside this instrument is remaining rigid in space. That's completely wrong. The pendulous vanes, which I have shown in previous videos, are constantly correcting it with respect to the direction of down. And that is why, as it flies around the globe, it is always showing a correct level indication.